Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm currently doing another mukbang for you guys, and I have unlimited sushi. Now, this place is really the bomb. I already kind of started, so it's kind of like a cheat, but, <laughs> um, so this is, um, Pisces to have all you can eat, um, sushi, and it's really fresh. Let me try to adjust this camera here. Um, it's really fresh, and I know it sounds very, like, gimmicky at first, because I didn't think, like, there'd be any fresh food here, because, you know, it's all you can eat sushi, but, um. That sounds kind of taboo, I guess you could say. But um, it's really good. And that's actually one of my favorite foods is sushi. So, if you come here, you can get the um, unlimited for like $11. And which includes, um, you get the little rolls like this. Um, this is a bagel roll. It has cream cheese and salmon. And then for five dollars more, you can get the nigiri, which is just the um, the um, you know slice of meat and on a bed of rice like this. So I got the nigiri, and it's the bomb. It's so good. I would say for like my favorite foods, sushi is probably like close second or maybe tied for first my first favorite food is candy I love candy I can't go a day without candy so so we talk about but anyway this is one of my favorite places to go to and it's in Metropolitan I'm outside it's actually a nice day outside it's so pretty People don't think I'm nuts, like talking to myself or talking to you. Really, that's fine. Um, but yeah, um, so summer is almost over. I'm really sad. It's very sad. It's one of my favorite months. Oh, yep. Thank you so much. You would. And um, yes. I'm missing shrimp sauce to go with it too. Thank you. And you can also, also order a la carte pieces like fried rice. You can basically get whatever you want. We have egg rolls, noodles. Whatever your little heart desires. Thank you. Oh, did you find the price out that plum wine? No, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Thank you. Everybody's really nice here. Like, I try to be nice. Not try to be. I am nice. Like, when it comes to serving, like, I understand, like, how difficult and how busy it is. Because I used to serve for, like, you know, five years. It's, you know, it makes money. Bring home, you know, money for the bank. But it's very difficult when you deal with different customers. It's so, four dollars? Yeah, let me get one. And um, it's difficult when you're dealing with customers all the time because you never know what you're going to get. You might get blessed and might have, you know, a great customer. You might get a celebrity or you can get, like, just trash. And they leave your ass $2 or a dollar or nothing. So, that's why I always over tip and whether it was you know good or bad like I understand like stuff happens like people have multiple tables you know everybody's just busy it's crazy lunch dinner whatever but um I'm glad I'm not in the industry anymore I miss the money so, so I'm making good money but um will I do it again nope <laughs> um Nope. <laughs> it's just, it's just a lot. Cause like, I remember like I had shifts. It was like 12 hour shifts, 14 hour shifts. And I'd be on my feet all day. 
and like just you know be crazy you won't get anything i'm shooting flies out of the way i'm not trying to you know but um but yeah anyway I'm trying to finish it out shopping. I'm going on this big trip, this big extravaganza. It's a nice pool, not pool, beach. I'm actually going to do three videos from that. So I need to prepare and just get everything ready for that. So I'm actually been buying. Um, I'm doing a swimsuit haul. That's that's gonna be very exciting. I've never done one of those before. And let me get this up. 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 <laughs> so I'm gonna do all my broadcasting from from there. From when I go to my vacation. Oh my god, these flies are getting on my nerves. Bartender's pouring that glass in a second. Okay, thank you so Maybe much. Lucky. It's so loud there. It's no, I know. It's so nice out here. Yeah, it is. It's a good day. <laughs> thank you. I know these flies That's are getting on my nerves. Ugh. Okay, so I got more sushi here. Um put this to the side because the flies oh, they're just on that one. That's, that's gross. And people ask me all the time, like, how could you eat by yourself? Like, don't you get lonely? Don't, is it like, like, don't people look at you? Like, I don't care. I really don't. Like, the reason how I started out <laughs> um, food blogging in the first place this was, um, I was an independent foodie, and, I'm gonna kill these flies. I was an independent foodie, and, um, I was just, you know, love going to different restaurants and love meeting new people, and I was in a new area at the time, so, like, I wanted to find, like, what the best restaurants were, and, um, you know, go from there, so, I basically got started it was um, I would just go to different um, restaurants you know and just order go to the bar and just tell them what I did and just go from there so like I you know I play with my phone majority of the time people be like um, you know you either read a book you can Play on your phone um, you know call somebody but I really don't I'm alone 80% of the time so it really doesn't bother me as much and so that's how I got started with um, food blogging because I was originally uh, my Instagram was originally um, uh, a foodie um, post and website and then um, I started working for um, eat work play and I start submitting my food blogs and posts there and so I just once I got into that I just kind of just stopped doing foodie on my own I know that's very ironic and so I think you would like keep doing more food posts once you start working for a company like that but I start doing less and less not in a bad way but it just said um I guess that wasn't my like main focus anymore and like trying to build like a foodie page or a lifestyle page or whatever. It's really hard to do and there's like a lot of competition, there's a lot of people doing the same thing and then a lot of times like I know when I first started I was just on my own so I was just doing everything by myself and I didn't know any other food bloggers so like it just like slowly started, I started meeting new people. I was in the same industry as me, and 
financially, I just couldn't do it anymore because I wasn't getting really sponsorships. And, you know, I was funding everything through myself. Which is fine. But a lot of people, you know, they would go, the only time they really get, you know, get to try out new food is, um, whenever they have like a new menu, a new presentation, you know, something like that. But in my case, my problem was I wasn't officially in the city yet. So I wasn't getting invited to all these uh, media presses. And um, all that other, you know, stuff that could help you build your, you know, resume or whatever you want to call it. But um, yeah. But I'm trying to think of something interesting. Because I try to be funny. I mean, I am a friendly person, but, you know, I'm trying to be ridiculous. But as you can see, um, my hair is short. I love this color. Like, don't get me wrong. I love this color. It's like an icy, like, platinum blonde. And I love this color. I hate this length, though. And I hate it. I hate having short hair. I feel like a mom. I do. I feel like a mom with this hair. I feel like I'm about to go drop my kids off to soccer practice. Have a van. All the good works. So I don't have the 32 inches today. I have 12 inches of hair. But um, hopefully I can find some. Like I tried to find extensions that match this color, but it's, it's very weird and difficult color to find so I got the closest essentials that match it but it was more ombre and I I thought I looked like a troll so I threw that idea out the window like when I say idea idea I mean like the essentials out the window and I just didn't go back to it but um but yeah I think it's a cute length it's just not me I'm more of drama, more extravagant, more lavish. That's just my style. It's my coping mechanism. <laughs> In a way. Oh my gosh, I'm getting full. Oh. Put these bad boys up. Oh, this is so good. Mm. I'm just getting all this eating out of the way. So I can be bikini rated in two weeks when I go on my trip. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. We'll see how the pictures turn out. So I'm thinking about going on... Um, detox and whatnot and all the juices and fasting. I'm outside, I'm out on the street. Cause though uh, that's why I'm swiping away class, but there's they have so many cute girls here and they have such cute outfits. Very cute. This girl has a jumpsuit on. I want it. I'm mad. It looks good too. Good girl. I'm just dressed as a not a bum. My clothes are not really that extravagant today. Because I'm about to go work out once I finish eating. everything oh, try to work out constantly it's very hard to do very hard to do especially when you work like multiple jobs or gigs 
it's just kind of hard that way. Hold on, I'm about to talk to these two guys over here. See what's up with them. Oh, no, never mind. We're going inside now. Can't talk to them. Yeah. <laughs> I like to engage with people. <laughs> I guess that what makes me like super friendly and whatnot. Oh no, I sure don't. This guy asked me if I smoked. I told him no. Smoking's bad for you. If I did smoke, I couldn't smoke anyway, because I, um, I've always had, um, asthma, especially when I was younger, it was really bad when I was, like, young, um, so I tried to, uh, avoid any tolerance of smoking. Plus, it stinks. I don't like cigarettes anyway, but... It's all for you. Oh, oh, that's one down. One down. Okay, I'm getting full now. This camera is not cooperating with me. I need to get a tripod. I said that last video. But I'm just too lazy to go to Best Buy or, see, look, look, it's going up there. Here we go. Here we go. Whatever. Uh, and I'm not particularly, when I do go online shopping, I never think about electronics or anything. I always think about clothes. Because <laughs> I, love, I love clothes. I love shopping for clothes. So that's a really bad habit to break, I guess you can say. All right, we want to get this fixed one way or another when I want to put a that should be good nope oh you're sliding again okay but um I'm gonna wrap this smooth bang up because I am getting full I think the rice mainly did it and plus I'm waiting on my wine so I need to enjoy that I love wine. What's going on now? No, I have not. You're good. You're good. You take your time. <laughs> I've been so busy today. I'm not saying it's like so busy. Because I think, um, looking at my time here, like, it just took, like, maybe like, five or ten minutes since I asked yeah so they're really busy inside and it's really loud that's why I decided to walk outside and everything but um yeah so I hope you enjoyed this um mukbang video I really had um just enjoying my little Saturday and stay tuned for the next video you know I have Thank